Hello my beautiful crafty friends. I am so excited to bring you this video today. I have filmed this video a couple of different times. Um, it ended up being like 25 minutes and I figured it was just a little too long so I want to split it up. Today's video is going to be showing you all the crafty stuff that all the crafty projects that I have actually finished that I'm proud of and that I want to show off and if anything give you guys inspiration. I've had half of my coffee. Um, I filmed this video like I said a couple of different times. My words aren't coming out right. I'm sounding a little silly and funky. So forgive me if I mess up on my words. It wouldn't be Amanda video if I didn't. <laughs> so let's just be honest. <laughs> All right, so let's jump right in because I do have a lot to get, show you guys. Um, I'm so excited to show off my work. I cannot wait. If you guys could see this way of the camera and that way of the camera, you would be ashamed of me because my craft room is an absolute nightmare from getting this crafty stuff done. Now, I love a craft, a project that I can create that looks high end, but I did not spend too much on it. That is always my end goal when creating something. And I have been watching a lot of DIYers, um, especially when it comes to Christmas, a lot of Christmas projects from these DIYers. And I've been wanting to give them a go myself. So if I mention someone's name or if I mention that I gained inspiration from their video, they will be linked down below. Also, hubby is doing housework upstairs. We're still remodeling. So if you hear a nail gun or something like that, that's him. I also have a stepson outside the door playing Xbox. And for some reason, they have to be extremely loud when they play. So now that all that is covered, let's dive right in. The first thing that I want to show you guys, I watched Serenity Creates and put some bling on it. They have a cute little video that they put together collabing on these adorable little wood ornaments that they had made. They also shared this adorable little um, Etsy store that you can purchase Christmas words for in vinyl. And while I was on there shopping at her store, she will also be linked down below if I can still find it. I went ahead and had her make me our family names because I had this in mind. Now, I went to Hobby Lobby and I found these adorable little um, wood circles that were nice and flat in the craft section. And they were, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think they were $4.99. And there was no um, sale going on. So I used my 40% 40, 40 off coupon, but it only gave me four little pieces of wood. So then I was shopping in the his and hers section. And these were $5.99 with 50% off. And I found a whole bag of them. So I ended up purchasing both. And what I did is I painted them white. I sanded the, the rougher ones down really, really smooth. And then they had this natural line around them. I went ahead and painted them white, put the name down, put a cute little bow on them, had hubby drill a hole in it so it could be an ornament. And this is going to be our family ornaments this year. So we have me and Kev. And then we have all four boys. We got... We got Devin's first, and then my Landon, and then we got Dominic and little Dilly, and then we have the two pupper dogs. How freaking stinking cute are those ornaments? I'm really proud of them. I hope you guys enjoy them too. And like I said, I will leave their videos linked down below if you want to see their spin on them. But this is mine, and I love them. I think they're so cute. Also from those, whoops, also from those same ladies. They did a clothespin ornament, and this was just my mock-up of it. Um, I, 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 they used a glue gun and some wood glue, but to me it wasn't sturdy enough. So I added a bigger snowflake in the back, a smaller one in the front, and then I had this cute little dome um, sticker in my stash, and I thought it'd just be cute on top. I don't know if I'll put this on the tree or what I'll do with it, but it ended up being super adorable. Added some twine on it, just like Serenity did. And yeah, it turned out super cute. So there's that. And then for ornaments, this is the last one. Um, I thought this one turned out so adorable. Oh my goodness. So if you guys don't know and haven't seen my other videos, we have Norm the Gnome that hangs out with me while I craft because he's so stinking cute. I can't, I can't part with him at this point. He's just a part of the family. But this is Nancy the Gnome. 
okay? Because she is pink, we are naming her Nancy the Gnome. We have the cute little sugar cookie um, paper in the back. I found this adorable snowflake that's iridescent in my craft stash. And I thought that would be perfect for the gnomes. And then I found her at the Walmart for the little tiny ornaments for the trees. I think they were um, $1.98 for six of them. So I put her in there. Now looking back on it, and if I make any more, I wish I would have put these tiny little pom-poms in there for shakers with some snowflakes. Oh my gosh, it'd be so stinking cute. In fact, I started the process on this one to try that, but I haven't finished it yet. So I'll let you guys know if I finished it, but I put some trim around the edge just to, to cover up the glue and a cute little gold bow and white or pink and white twine at the top to hang her. You guys, she is so flipping flopping adorable. Nancy, you're stunning. You're a pretty little gnome. Love, love, love Nancy. Okay. Now I'm going to show you just a, a couple other things real quick. Now, you guys might have seen this on my Instagram or in my tear tray video. Um, on the Instagram, it shows a picture of what it looked like before. This is from the Dollar Tree. It had a chicken on top, and it said farm fresh eggs or something like that. I just took my X-Acto knife, cut that chicken off, and because there was the wood was ragged, I went ahead and put this little tree, um, those little stems on the top, made a cute little bow, cut out some paper from my paper pads, put some berries in. You guys, this was so quick, so simple, so easy, but so adorable. And it fits perfect to my little tear tray. I love how this little guy turned out. So speaking of that dang tear tray, I'm sure you guys are done hearing about it because I am done talking about it. <laughs> but you know, when you get something new, it's exciting. And oh my gosh, I just watched Samantha's video and she found tear tray, a two tier tray from the Target dollar spot for five bucks. Wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> like what? Oh, you guys, I'm sure you know how I felt after I seen that video because <laughs> I've been at the Target, uh, the Target and I haven't seen that. And I did that. I was there before I bought my tear tray. Uh, all right. Anyways. You guys see me haul. If you haven't seen me haul, there's a haul coming. These cubes from the Dollar Tree. They were this natural wood. I just painted them white on um, the sides that would show. And then I also hauled those sticker, the letter stickers here. Now, it wouldn't stick very well. So I got out my Mod Podge here that I got at the Dollar Tree. And that was my first time really working with Mod Podge. And I have to say it was a lot of fun. Um, so while I was still playing with Mod Podge, I said, why not try it with paper? And then I put some paper on the top, this really pretty plaid that came in that plaid book. If you guys haven't seen that yet, that's coming too. And then, of course, I had to make a wreath for the O and Joy. Hello. It's so freaking adorable. This was so simple. You guys, I already had my paint out because I was painting everything else. So I just painted up the bricks. Um, the word, I just stuck the letters on after it was dry, put that Mod Podge on there and called it a day. You guys, this was so, so simple. And then my little paper, they were two by two. Just cut a little strip, two by two. It, I, You guys, it was so fun to make, and I think it turned out adorable. So this is also going to be in my tear tray. If you guys watched that video, I said there's a little spot from a DIY that I hadn't done yet, but I want to show show you guys the finished product prior to putting it in the tray. So now that I'm showing you folks at, at home, I get to go put it up, and we can talk. stop talking about this tear tray, right? <laughs> Isn't she cute? I love how she turned out. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and film all my wall decor. That will be my next video. Um, I don't want to, I don't want this to run over too, you know, too long. I don't want to take up too much of your time. You guys, I have noticed in the last couple of days that I'm gaining about 10 subscribers a day. And I'm blown away. I am in awe. I cannot believe you guys are actually subscribing to my channel and listening to what I have to say. And I just have to thank you from the bottom of my heart, honestly. When we get to that 300 um, subscriber mark, we will be doing a giveaway. Hopefully we can get there before Christmas and so I can make you guys something cute. I love doing Christmas stuff. So 
If not, not a big deal. We will find something great to give away, but I appreciate you guys so much. And for everyone that is new, thank you so much for continuing to come back and support me and everyone that has been with me from the beginning. I truly, truly cannot thank you enough for your love and support. So you guys hang in there because I got some really cute wall decor that I'm super excited to share with you. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.